Hello everyone, this is Sanjuro of Sanjuro Systems, and I thought I would share with you uh, one of my latest creations. As many of you know, I make uh, holocrons, and this one happens to be a 3-inch uh, layered holocron with a bronze mirrored acrylic on the outside and a green translucent acrylic on the inside. Uh, but what's a little bit different about this holocron is that uh, as many, you, many of you may have already noticed, is that there's a uh, Jedi logo on the top in the center here. Also, many of you might note that there are cutouts along the sides uh, of the holocrons in the center. Now, this is a little bit different from my previous holocrons, and uh, what this is, is an extensively upgraded holocron. I took the uh, idea from uh, the Clone Wars, where the holocron as a repository for uh, knowledge and, and memory of the Jedi wisdom actually held a crystal on the inside. So I wanted to design a holocron which would mimic that uh, to uh, some effect. What I did is I created what I'm calling my, uh, my crystal holocron. Now what this is, it's, it's very similar in design, external design to the holocrons, my 3 inch holocrons that I make as well. But uh, through the cutouts, as you see here, you can actually see a crystal. Now, uh, this crystal is a genuine quartz crystal, and it's visible through all the cutouts within the holocron. What's nice about this is because of the green layered acrylic um, and the mirroring, uh, the green reflects off the clear quartz crystal to give it a greenish hue. Of course, if you use a a different uh, translucent acrylic, it would reflect that as well. But here's another feature that I added to the holocron, is that you're able to take off one of the sides of the holocron and really be able to look inside and see the crystal chamber, uh, which is very nice. The way I designed this was to mimic uh, a, the look of a memory engine, uh, a functional piece of equipment which uh, which will house the Jedi Wisdom. Now, there are pillars inside here. Each of these pillars uh, has arabesque writing on it. Um, maybe it's a little bit hard to pick up, but there is arabesque along these pillars here. These arabesque writings are different for each pillar, and each one has one line or tenant of the Jedi Code. So, four pillars, four tenants. Uh, many of you may realize there are actually five lines in the Jedi Code. So there is a fifth line in there that uh, completes the Jedi Code, but I've hidden it, and uh, I'll leave that as a little secret for those of you who end up uh, purchasing this holocron. Now, another feature uh, that I included is not only does this holocron have this crystal, uh, uh, crystal memory engine in it, is that the memory engine is removable so that uh, you can display the memory engine separately. Uh, now here it is right here and it has a true quartz crystal in it and this also has arabesque writing along the, uh, the struts as you can see here as well as other design implements to mimic um, that of circuitry um, or an, uh, an engine. Here's a uh, little close-up of one of the uh, mirrored pieces that I designed uh, for this uh, holocron, uh, the engine part. And as you can see, there's um, uh, a bit of uh, arabesque writing as well as a number of design elements to replicate a lock mechanism and also machinery. There's quite a bit of detail in this and uh, quite a bit of uh, intricate uh, lasering. Uh, here's a little bit uh, detail of the uh, uh, Jedi symbol that's on top of the holocron. Now, uh, here's the holocron without the, uh, the crystal engine in it. Um, and as you can see, you may be able to pick up uh, some of the arabesque writing in here. So it's actually quite a nice display even without the crystal. You can display them separately. Now, to slide this back in, those pillars actually act as tracks into which, uh, along which the uh, crystal will, will, will slide. And then you can put the top back on as so. 
and display it this way as well. So there you go. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, I took great pleasure in, in designing uh, this holocron and, and bringing it to fruition. Uh, it's actually, this one is going to be a display piece uh, for, for myself in, in my office. Um, I hope you enjoy it. And again, these will be available on the FX Sabres forums. Uh, so if, uh, if you have access to the internet, please go ahead and join that. It's an excellent uh, resource for uh, lightsabers and other props uh, in the Star Wars universe. Um, I will be doing a limited run of these, just a few of them, uh, available to FX Sabres members. Well, thank you very much and uh, enjoy.